Hello kindergartners. For this lesson, we are now on dun, 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 chapter four. Chapter four. Represent and compare numbers to 10. So for this chapter, you're going to need your pencil. I have a mechanical pencil. It's still a pencil. You're going to need your counters. And that's it for right now. So a pencil and counters. Here we go. It says use counters to model nine. All right, so here we have a 10 frame. And the great thing about 10 frames, if you fill them up, if you fill them up, we know that that's a 10 frame. So if they're all full, we don't even need to count it. We know that's 10 if we just fill it up, but it said to make nine. So I'm going to take one off, and we learned that five and four more make nine. Let's count them to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So use counters to model nine in the top frame. We did that. Use counters to model 10 in the bottom 10 frame. Okay, so first, before we take these off, we know this is nine, so I'm gonna mark these, just so we know. We made that one, oh, sorry. I'm gonna start from the top, just like I've been telling you to do. We always start from the beginning. First, we mark out our top five frame, and then we mark the next group of four. I'll mark that one again. So now we know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here's our nine. We have an extra one. But now down here it says, let's make 10. So we know we don't even have to count. What do we need to do? We need to just put the counters in. We're just gonna fill it up because that's a 10 frame. And if you fill up a 10 frame, then it will equal 10. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to take my counters off. I'm going to mark where they were. All right. Here we're going six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now you can see nine has a missing one, but 10, the 10 frame is all filled up. So we have nine and 10. Ooh, look at the hot air balloons. Nice. It says, place a counter on each balloon. Move the counters to the 10 frame. Draw the counters. Point to each counter as you count. Trace the number. Okay, so we're going to have a new poem for 10, but first let's put our counters on our balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you could make them red or yellow if you want to use your bears or your cubes. Either one's fine. I just thought I'd do red and yellow. So now it says to move our counters to our 10 frame. Okay, so first we fill up the top. And next we fill the bottom. Okay, so now we move them all into our 10 frame. It's all filled up. So how many is that when it's all filled up? Yes, that's 10. If it's all filled up, it's 10. Draw your counters. So I'm going to just mark them like this. One, two, three, four. Ah, I broke my lid. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now it reads, Trace your 10. So here's our poem for 10. First A1 and then A0. 
Number 10, he is our hero. So we have a one and a zero to make 10. All right, now we're looking over here. Oh, on this one, we have reds and yellow. So we will use our red and yellow counters. And what number are we making? 10, yes, this is page 135 and we're making 10. Let's say our poem. First a one and then a zero. Number 10, he is our hero. So we're gonna put all of our counters into our 10 frame, all right? I'm gonna do the first one. Let's see, I'm gonna put these in here. Do, 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 do. Putting some in. And what are we making, boys and girls? 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I have 10 counters in my 10 frame. How many of these counters are red? And how many of these counters are yellow? Ooh, well, we know yellow, there's just how many? Just the one. But how many are red? Let's count the red ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you remember the poem for nine? First a loop and then a line. That makes the number nine. All right, I'm gonna flip one over. Ooh. How many do we have all together? That's right, we still have 10. We still have our 10 frame. How many are red? Let's count the reds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> Who remembers how to make an eight? Yes, let's say our poem. Make an S and do not wait. Climb back up to number eight. And how many yellow ones? One, two. Around and back on a railroad track. Two, two. So we have nine reds and one yellow, make 10. And eight reds and two yellow, make 10. Can you come up with two other ways to make 10? You can just flip one over and go ahead and write how you did it and then do the same thing on the next one. Flip another one over. Take a picture of that page when you're done and show it to me. Take these off. Finish that page. When you're done, meet us on the next page. All right, boys and girls. Up here, we're on page 136 with the mouse. Michelle puts her star stickers in sets of 10. Circle all the sets of star stickers that belong to Michelle. Down here, draw to show what you know about the number 10. So with the stars, you're going to count them. Now, what I've seen is sometimes students start in the middle and they forget to mark them. And then you get confused and you might count too many or not enough. So make sure you're organized when you count. In a pyramid, you would start from the top, one, and then go to the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that ten stars? Yes, it is ten stars, so you circle it. There's another group of ten there. Please count your stars. When you find the ten, circle it, and then draw ten of something for me down here. Pause the video, finish that page. When you're all done, meet us on the next page. All right, now we're on page 136A. This is our practice review. Please get a red crayon and a yellow crayon. crayon and your yellow crayon. Ooh, 
Oh, it's all colors, right? Decide which side you want red and which side you want yellow, but please don't color them all one color. It needs to be one side red. And then the other side yellow. So you need to have both, one side red, one side yellow. Then to keep your things organized, you put them back in your box, okay? Always keep organized. There's a place for everything and everything has its place. All right, this one, you get to do it on your own. You're gonna shake them, all 10, drop them in. And then tell me how many were red and how many were yellow. Shake them up for four times to tell me, all right? Take a picture of that page, send it to me. Last page. It reads, trace the number. How many counters would you place in the 10 frame to model a way to make 10? Draw the counters. So make sure that there are 10 counters altogether in there. Number two, count how many kites, write the number. Draw a set of counters that has the same number as the set of kites. So however many kites, you're going to draw that many counters and write the number, they should be the same. How many jackets, and write the number. All right, have fun with math. Well, tomorrow we get to work on this one, bye.